And we're live. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm not live. I'm recording a video, but I'm, I'm live here at the uh, the Post Mall in Milford, <clears throat> and uh, I'm here with my daughter, giving her lunch. And I figure that while I'm here, I do a card review because I, hold on. take that, take that. No, take the steak. Take the steak. Take the steak. There you go. Can't go wrong with Charlie's. So I got it all over my hands. Um, while I'm here. I could do a deck review. I just found these product red playing cards, and uh, they're from Theory 11. I bought them at Target because for some reason Target started selling Theory 11. So I'm actually doing an unboxing right now for the first time. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know about product red, they are a, uh, a deck of cards that basically a company had partnered with Theory 11. I, I forget the exact, I, I think the company is called product red. Um, or a foundation or something, and it's uh, it's it's for AIDS research and stuff. So as you can see, it says right here, uh, imagine a world without AIDS. And the the from what I understand, some of the proceeds that they make off of this goes to uh, to AIDS research. So I figured I'd open them up and see what it is. See you, you know, see what it's all about. Got a little stamp seal on there, so I'm gonna peel that off uh, very, very nicely. I'm weird. Okay, these are not going to peel off very nicely, so I might just, I might just have to fucking break it. Um, I'm weird when it comes to playing cards and, like, the boxes and everything. I tend to really like to keep the seals. Like, if I open it up, I, I, I tend to want to keep the seal uh, intact, so that way... Hey, baby. Uh, so that way, when I, you know, when I open up the cards and stuff, I don't have to worry about it looking, like, bad or, or anything like that. See? And, and then stuff like this happens, see? This is like, it's like a paper box. It's almost like recycled material. So I'm actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep it just like this. Take, I just dropped it. Take this last little bit off here. I guess that's how it's going to stay. You guys see that? That's why I like um, cardboard that's been pressured and, you know, protected and stuff. Like regular, like, like these. That's why I like this kind because it's almost like a plastic. I mean, granted, I didn't take the full uh, sticker off of this, but that's because I was using these in a show. I was in a hurry and didn't have time. So we got them open. All right. As you can see. Oh, here. It says red card challenge right there. I didn't even notice that. See that? Red card challenge. Focus. It's not going to focus. That's as best as I'm going to get it. So, let's open these up. Take the box. Let's put it right there. Nothing else inside of the box. Let me see. Uh, so, these are the jokers right here. It says no joke. And I'll even read to you what it says because for some this is not focusing. Uh, every deck of product red playing cards can provide over three days of life-saving HIV medication to someone in need. Oh, so proceeds uh, go to HIV medication and stuff like that, which is good. Now, the back of these are really simple. They kind of look like Knox. They, actually, they really look like Knox. These are okay. Is that how all of them are? Here's the, uh, the promo cards, right? Zero. It says, in 2002, more than 1,200 babies were born with HIV every day. Now that number is just 400. Together, we could reduce the number of HIV plus babies, or HIV positive babies, born each day from 400 to near zero. So this is going towards a good cause. And of course, this is just Theory 11's uh, promo card. I, us I, I used to keep the Jokers out of the decks. Now I keep them in. Uh, regular colors. The the um, the kings and the queens and the jacks, they're just the the regular black and red. They 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 don't have that many uh, of the the normal colors in there. Who's the ace of spades? Right. It's my daughter's like she's looking around and stuff. You can probably hear her in the background. They handle qu uh, quite nicely. Let me see if eh they're okay. Um, they're, they're relatively new, so yeah, you gotta break them in, but they handle all right. Let me see how they, okay. 
pharaoh them and, and see if they interweave with each other well. Let's see. So yes, that they do weave very well. See if I can get one of these little cool looking thingies in here. So they are they they, they basically are the um, the Theory Eleven style, you know. Of uh, I'm so used to doing this with my other hand. That's why I look like garbage. But they uh, they fan all right. See, they fan quite nicely. But they do the other way. Uh, okay. As you can tell, my flourishing sucks. That's why I do magic instead of cardistry. Uh, you know what? For what it is, granted I spent 10 bucks on them, they're okay. They're okay. Um, you know, let's see... Uh, as far as like, you know, card handling and stuff goes. They're, you know, they're okay with that, right? There we go. They, you know, they're, they're, they're very basic. Like, I'm wondering, like, they're not marked. Obviously, they're, well, I can't really say obviously they're not marked because um, knocks look like these. All right, Brooke, hold on. Knocks look like these. And um, they are marked. So, and it, it, if you don't know how, how the Nox system works, if you know how the marking system works on Nox, get yourself a deck of Nox and uh, go ahead and look at it. You know, it's once you learn it, it's easy. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, for what they are, I respect the uh, the the. I respect the cause. You know, the Theory 11s. Can't really go wrong. So, yeah. Uh, I give them maybe a, uh, a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 6.5 out of 10. If I really wanted to get technical, I'd say like a 6.3 out of 10. Uh, the tuck case could be done a lot better. I can understand if it's recycled, if it's like, you know, used cardboard and everything like that. Uh, the deck handles well. But it's it's nothing really special. It's nothing like the design on the back is nothing big. But I can understand why because they're they're focusing more towards the uh, the cause that they're that they're promoting with the cards. So uh, that's a review, guys. Uh, if you like this, definitely go ahead. Uh, check me out, Chris Langel Magic, available for anything you may need. And um, uh, today is June fifth. Today is June 5th, 2019. I'm actually performing at the Strand Theater in Seymour, Connecticut, June 22nd, part of my nationwide tour that I'm doing, well, half nationwide. I'm only going towards uh, the, just about just about the Mississippi River, everything to the east coast of the Mississippi River. Um, and then, like, one show in Wyoming. So check me out. Come and see my show. If I'm coming to your area, go to my website www.chrislanglemagic.com to find out. Um, yes, so I'm again, I'm live from the mall. You never know what you're going to hear. I'm going to end this. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share, all that good stuff. It's my first video in a very long time. So I'm thinking of just doing... I'll tell you what, if you guys like the card reviews, even if they're like... Because I'm thinking of doing more card reviews, but my problem is almost all of my cards are... Um, they're all open and they're all used, but I can still technically review them because I still have them. Hit like, smash the like button if you think I should do card reviews from now on. Because if you guys like them, if I get plenty of views, if I get, you know... If I, if I get over 100 likes, that'd be a miracle. But, um... Check it out. Subscribe. I will see you guys later. It's been a while since, since I've done this, all right? I'll see you guys later.